Hello guys, it's me Connor, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the spectacular and epic series of games that Telltale have recently been doing, Game of Thrones Telltale game series. And basically, I have been loving this game series so far, and I this is the first Telltale game that I've wanted to guess the ending for. So here we go guys, I'm going to guess the ending for, let's see how many characters, there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, seven characters, and what I think their fates will be at the end of the Game of Thrones. Alright guys, so here we go. Game of Thrones Telltale Games Series Season 1, how I believe it will end. We'll, we'll start with Roderick. Roderick Forrester, for the remainder of the season, will maintain Lordship of Ironrath until episode 6, where Roderick will die by the hands of Asher Forrester, his brother of course, who will fight Roderick after Roderick decides to negotiate with the Lannisters to get his sister back from King's Landing, after Mira is taken hostage by Cersei Lannister of course, instead of focusing on revenge for his mother. In this decision lies Asher's anger. Asher kills Roderick because of this, and Roderick lies on the floor watching as Ironrath is burnt to the ground. So let me just give you a bit of backstory. So my idea is that I think Lord Whitehill will not be able to have it and on the final episode of episode 6, the Ice Dragon I believe is his name, I believe that he will siege Ironrath and it will burn to the ground and that, and that will be basically the end and everyone will split off in a Stark-like fashion because this House Forester is already quite a big influence on the Starks. So, moving on to the next character who we met um, on episode 2, Asher Forrester. Asher will have returned home by episode 4 and seen what has happened to his house. This will cause him to convince Alyssa, um, the mother, to allow him to infiltrate the home of Lord Whitehill and assassinate him to stop this war caused by Mira. Because if you remember, in episode 2, you, he's like, Tyrion is like to Mira, you can it, say the crown wants you to buy ironwood solely from you then Lord Whitehill will be at your mercy or you'll bring your houses to open war and my decision in that was that I went with Tyrion and thought that Telltale because of how they work there will be an open war anyway so continuing however it doesn't go to plan since Lord Whitehill survives the attack and he arrives at Ironrath there Asher stays inside of her fortress since his mother insisted it and his mother is murdered torn by his mother's death Asher believes that Roderick is too weak to be a lord and commands Roderick to send him and all of House Forrester's army to destroy the White Hills once and for all. However, Roderick refuses and commands Asher to stop this madness and think about Mira, and they must get her back from Cersei. But Asher only wants vengeance for his mother's murder. In this anger, Asher kills Roderick and kills him whilst White Hill soldiers siege and burn Ironrath to the ground whilst Asher is inside. Asher escapes Ironrath barely alive and runs off into the forest where he will retreat to Winterfell next season. My thinking of that is that he will sort of take Winterfell as his own for a bit and then obviously move on to better things and I don't know what will happen. Moving on to our uh, Castellan's nephew, Garrett Tuttle, who has been sent to the wall because he killed two Whitehill um, soldiers. So this is what I think will happen. What is most likely for Garrett is that he will become Jon Snow's personal steward by the end of the season, since Jon Snow will become Lord Commander. That's that's not technically spoilers for season 5, people do get a little bit mad about that, but it's not technically spoilers because it's on the back of the book of Dance of Dragons, and I looked at it in Tesco and it was like, it said about it, so yeah. And he'll become Lord Commander. Garrett will be involved in the Wildlings attack that happened at the end of Season 4 of the TV series and will fight well for the Night's Watch. This will cause him to be promoted and become Jon Snow's steward, but he wishes to become a ranger, so he does, and he will go beyond the wall next season with his fellow brothers. However, on Episode 6 he will hear of Alyssa's murder and will decide whether he will desert or stay at his post like Jon Snow had to decide in the War of the Fight Kings. My thinking of that is that he will have to decide what is better, his honour or his family. And technically he's not part of House Forrester, so I f he will obviously choose the Night's Watch. So now we're moving on to Mirror Forrester, our damsel in distress. Maybe not damsel in distress as the episodes go on, but from as we've seen so far, she's pretty much the damsel in distress in King's Landing. 
who must play the game of France. And this is what will happen to her, I believe. Mira Forrester. Mira will become one of Marjorie's most trusted servants and will become a major player in the game of France. She will cause two people to die up until episode 5. However, at the end of episode 5, Cersei will have noticed that she is very good and will ask her to become one of her spies. Mira will decline and Cersei will not have it and takes Mira hostage in order to stop House Forrester from ending the White Hill's reign over them. But Mira is clever and dangerous and escapes King's Landing with the help of the Bucket Boy. You know, the, the guy that is helping out Mira and I believe wants to, you know, have action with her. And we'll travel to the Eyrie for the next season where she will find Sansa Stark because she went at the end of season, uh, like midway through season 4 with Littlefinger who she had met before. So basically my thinking is around about next episode, episode 3, she will meet Sansa Stark and probably like get good friends with her and Sansa's gonna want her to go to the Eyrie with her but she's not going to be able to, obviously, because she is servant to Marjorie, who will be the queen. So this is what my, the fate for Lady Alyssa Forrester, I think, will be. This is the mother, by the way. Lady Alyssa Forrester cannot stand the White Hills any longer, and so she allows Asher to go with a few men to assassinate Lord Whitehill. However, the attack fails, and Lord Whitehill travels to Ironrath, where he waits for someone to meet him in the courtyard. Alyssa knows that Asher cannot go outside, and neither can Roderick, so she volunteers herself to go outside and meet Lord Whitehill. But after attempting to drive him away from Ironrath, Lord Whitehill orders his men to kill Asher, but Alyssa blocks her path. So Lord Whitehill stabs Lady Alyssa in the stomach, and she dies. Lord Whitehill orders his men to attack Ironrath, and after a bloody confrontation, um with Ash's army of sellswords and Lord Whitehill's men. Uh, the battle is won by the foresters and Lord Whitehill retreats back to his lands badly wounded, preparing his army to siege Iron Wrath in episode 6. Lady Alyssa is burned at the end of the episode the same way Gregor and Ethan were at the end of episode 2. So that, I believe that Lady Alyssa will die because it will be a major influence for Asher and Roderick for the rest of the season and basically I think that it will be the saddest death of the entire season. So then moving on to Talia, the girl who sang the beautiful song at the end of episode 2, the bat, the Forrester val Ballad. So this is what I think will happen to Talia. Talia won't really do much for the rest of the season, however in episode 6 when Iron Wrath is being burned, Talia escapes on her own and runs off. However a few White Hill soldiers will, and I think that it will catch her and she will be taken as a prisoner to be used as a bargaining chip with the Lannisters and next season Talia will go to King's Landing and be a prisoner of the Lannisters and she will learn to survive on her own like Arya did so I believe that she will play the role of Arya in House Forrester. Now moving on to Ryan, the small little lad that we don't really see much of because he's very small and we can't really do much with him yet the same with Bran is what have happened but Ryan Forrester Ryan will not really do much for the rest of the season, like Talia, however when Iron Wrath is burning down, Sir Royland will take Ryan with him and the rest of Iron Wrath, and they will travel down the King's Road whilst avoiding the White Hills, and next season Ryan will be with Sir Royland, essentially playing the role of Arya and the Hound. And I, I just think that it will make Ryan's story more interesting if he's with Sir Royland, and we will see more character development for Sir Royland, because at the moment he's just a complete nut. And absolutely crazy and anyone who cho like, chooses to go with seems absolutely mental. And finally we have Duncan Tuttle. I didn't really want to do any many, many more characters but this is what I believe will happen to Duncan. Duncan for the rest of the season will argue with Sir Royland like he does now. However on episode 4 Roderick will not stand for it anymore and will ask Duncan to settle their def differences but it doesn't go well and Sir Royland leaves to pursue a different career. Obviously he'll go back to when he, heard, when he hears about the White Hills and the murder of Alyssa. And because of this, Duncan loses the title of Sentinel, and Roderick decides he doesn't need a Sentinel if they're going to fight amongst each other instead of the enemy. And in episode 6, before Imrath is burnt to the ground, Duncan will try to settle this dispute with Lord Whitehill diplomatically. However, it doesn't work out, and we see that House Forrester should have been more violent than diplomatic, and Duncan Tuttle is stabbed in the leg by a spear, and Lord Whitehill heads him and sends it to Roderick as a message to say that their house will fall. I think that this will serve as a message rather than a sad death because Duncan is a good character however I don't think many tears will be shed 
like with Ethan. I don't think it'll be a massive shocker. So anyway guys, that is what I think will happen at the end of Season 1 of Game of Thrones. Tell a Telltale game series. Hope you like my ideas, and if you have any ideas for the um, characters, then sound off in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. I'm probably not going to be doing too many videos. I just thought I had to do this video because I had to put my thoughts out onto the internet. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.